Hey guys, I have been trying out a new custom ROM on my Samsung Galaxy S5 for a few days now and this time we got Android 10 based ROM pixel experience. So this ROM got few weird bugs I have never faced. Pretty weird bugs. So we will explore the ROM and this ROM is pretty unusable but still if someone wants to try I will put the link in the description below. There are few bugs. These bugs are pretty major bugs. So because of that, I can't really recommend this ROM to anyone. But still, as I'm using this ROM, I just want to share the experience how it's going on with this device. So as you can see, the device like turned on. Let's try to unlock the device. So as you can see, this is a weird box with this ROM. Even after trying correct pattern, still the device not unlocking. Let's try again. You have to try it two three times to unlock the device this one is pretty weird actually so now also it didn't work let's try one more time it didn't work so it will actually unlock automatically you no need to do anything it happens when you turn on the device directly as you can see it unlocked but if you if it is like waking up from sleep you will not get that bug it's only when you turn on the device for first time there is another bug actually is that the display stay dim for some time you have to lock and unlock the device to like bright up the display so I can't really show that right now because I'm not getting that bug as you, it, it like it does like it doesn't bright up the display so pretty weird bugs so let's check the Android version and everything so it's running on Android 10 as I said Android 10 and security patch level is 2020 which doesn't matter going with this ROM based on IOSP so there is no feature even it didn't come with few necessary feature first of all like the buttons here doesn't work the soft button doesn't work and there is no way you can turn on them we do get full skin gesture as you can see here full skin gesture does work perfectly fine but the navigation buttons will not work if you want navigation buttons to work you have to use on skin navigation buttons which you can turn on from here system navigation three buttons navigation and you will get navigation buttons here rather than that the stock navigation button doesn't work going with other things like double tap to turn off the display the feature is not there don't really know why usually almost all the ROMs does come with this feature the one feature which I think it comes with but it not really a that important feature so we do get AOD here so as you can see here I did turn on it, turn it on just to check and it does work perfectly fine so we do have AOD and let's try fingerprint fingerprint is terrible in this ROM it is much worse than stock ROM so don't really use fingerprint here it's pretty bad Going with other things, there is nothing much going on with this ROM. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and those things are working. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is connected right now. Battery backup does go pretty good. Actually, it, battery backup is pretty good on this ROM. And going with other things, the ROM is pretty bloatware free. It does come with GFs as you can see here. And I have installed few applications here like Photos, VIA mm -hmm. Browser and YouTube so if you have like watched my previous video about samsung galaxy s5 custom rom so in previous roms the youtube was not working and in this rom also the youtube was not working but there is a fix right now which will work on all the roms so basically what you have to do is that if you install youtube directly from play store it will not work but if you install directly from website it will work so you can like install any kind of browser and like you can search YouTube APK and download the YouTube APK directly and you can install it and it will work perfectly fine there will be no issue so I have downloaded it from here actually and after installing it it as you can see here I have downloaded it and it is working as I said the buttons doesn't work and YouTube is working now and buttons and everything does work perfectly fine here as you can see you will not have any issue with those things and also uh, rotation sensor does work 
in some of the ROMs rotation sensor doesn't work but in this ROM I haven't faced any issue in those things the issue I have faced are pretty major issues like as I said like fingerprint like scanner is terrible here the display doesn't bright up sometime and pattern doesn't work if you turn on the device and it takes time after that it does work perfectly fine the only thing why I'm using this ROM is that it is pretty smooth you will not see much bugs the bugs are pretty negligible so if you don't have any issue with those bugs you can try this ROM actually it does come with a camera application which also working and as you can see here it works perfectly fine so that's all about this ROM actually it's working perfectly fine there is no issue I, I can see right now the only issue is that you are getting terrible fingerprint scanner sometimes the display doesn't bright up and also the pattern doesn't work even after putting the right pattern sometime so that's all about pixel experience android 10 based from for our samsung Galaxy s5 thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time